Now there's one fly out there that's always intrigued me. It's a really simple tie, but pretty interesting. And I'm talking about a cased caddis. And there are lots of varieties out there. You'll see some of them tied with a dubbed body, maybe a fur or even a burlap, some of them with a palmer tackle clipped really short, and then some of them you'll see tied with sand and small little sticks, you know, the stuff that the caddis larvae actually use to make their cases. And that's what I'm gonna do for you today. Now, full disclosure, I've never fished this pattern, never even tied it until today. But like I said, it's definitely an interesting pattern. And this one I got from Seaboid Pfeiffer's Simple Flies, just another pattern that only uses two materials, or three, I guess, if you count the glue. You've got the head, that can either be chenille or maybe a peacock or ostrich hurl, and then some material for the body. And this one I'm using, I've got a tub of sand and really small pebbles. And ideally you'll get this from the stream bed that you're fishing. Now for the glue, I did try a couple of different things. I tried a hot glue gun and then some of this hard rubber permanent epoxy right here, but neither of these things worked very well. And I found that regular old crazy glue, super glue worked best. Now, if you had a gel super glue, that might be a little bit easier to work with, but this liquid stuff worked pretty well. So this pattern, Case Caddis, let us know in the comments if you've ever fished this thing. And if you have, maybe share some pointers. I've never fished it, but you know, I'm looking forward to giving it a try. So there it is in the vise, what I've been calling a super glue cased caddis. Now Pfeiffer did say use a 2X long hook and he said common sizes are six to 12. I think six would just be pretty big. So this is a size 10. Now what you might be wondering is, can you use anything else for the epoxy? Well, I did start with the hot glue gun and then this, some of this hard rubber epoxy right here, and neither of these worked that well. What I found did work well is super glue. And this fly you see in the vise right here, about 30 minutes after it was done, I soaked it in water for a good while and then pulled it out just to kind of rough it up and see if any of this was loose. And it really wasn't. So I think it's gonna be a fairly durable fly. Now, before we put a hook in the vise, Take your tub of sand and small pieces of gravel, and then just take your hook and some hackle pliers or something you can grab it with. And you have to be kind of quick here. We're gonna take our super glue. This is some just crazy glue. It is not a gel. A gel might work well too, but we're gonna put a little bead about on the back two thirds of it, and then we're just gonna dip it in this gravel and then see what comes up. So go ahead and put a, a little bead on it right here. And we can do it a couple of times if we need to. So that's enough to start. Let's dip that in there. And the first time you pull it out, you might get something that looks about like this right here. So I don't think that's big enough. So we'll just put another bead on it and then dip it in there again. And now you might get something that looks a little bit more like this. And you know, do it again if you want a little bit more. You want to build a little bit more bulk on there. Just keep do doing it until you get the right size you want. Just be careful not to really close up your hook gap. And you will want to let it dry a little while. Here's one I did a few minutes ago. So this one's had at least 15 minutes or so to dry. And it's, you know, it's pretty solid. That stuff is, uh, it's not going to go anywhere on me. So now is when we will catch in our thread. And you want to be a little bit careful because this can be kind of rough stuff right here this sand and, and small pebbles. So catch it in right there and try not to mangle your thread up too much. And I did a little bit, but we're gonna be fine. Now, I guess depending on what size of this you're making, what you make the, the head out of, you know, you could do peacock hurl if it was small enough, you could do ostrich hurl. I'm gonna use a, a black chenille because I want this to be a little bit thicker. And this is, you know, it's kind of a, a big fly, so. This is a small black chenille, and I'm just gonna wrap up four or five turns right here. Now just a few extra wraps and whip finish your head. And so there it is, just a drop of head cement, and this guy's done, ready to go. Again, a very simple fly, but you know, I'm curious to see how effective this might be. 
So that's it, everybody. I appreciate you watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.